Hey everybody, welcome back to Lost on Steam episode 2, where we're going to be taking a look at three games today, which for one reason or another just failed to gain a real audience when they came out. Now, interestingly enough, I was looking through the Steam new releases page, as I often am, trying to find all those games that, you know, fell between the cracks. Did you know that on March the 8th, there were 20 DLC porn items added to Steam? 2-0. 20 of them. Now, it is fair to say that most of these were added to the same game, right? Sure, but still, 20 DLC packs for porn games. We're not gonna waste any time as always, we're gonna be moving pretty quickly through these, so try and keep up. Okay, let's continue. Our next game up is called Solaroids Prologue. This was released May 26, 2017. So this is a couple years old, only has 13 reviews, but it is positive, and it's on sale for five bucks right now. I am ready to go. Let's do this. All right, how do I fire? Okay. I will never understand why games make the fire button like this back trigger instead of just one of the face buttons on a controller. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I, oh, this is actually, warning threats detected? Nah, threats have already been here for, wow, a while. Bonus points. That's great, but how about like a giant bomb instead of just the bonus points kind of thing? Okay, so I don't know how big the arena is. How fast can we just go? Can we just go full speed? Oh yeah, I mean, we can go full speed, but it seems like it's probably not a very good idea. Whoa! Okay, we we found the enemies. Plasma detonation? Oh, someone's about to get plasma detonated. Watch this. As soon as I find out what button does it. That one. That, did you guys see it? Aren't you guys impressed with my plasma detonation? Liter oh, yeah, let's just plasma detonate! Okay, that was a lot less exciting than I had hoped. Actually, it, it did take out the smaller guys. Watch this, we're gonna fly by, boom! They're like, sir, he's just so powerful. He just keeps, okay. That rocket was the most amazing shot I've ever seen. It was like doing a U-curve and it just, it was perfect. Please, just give me the rockets. Just fire rockets, all the rockets. Just fire as many rockets as possible. It's our only help. Oh, wait, grab the bomb. And then do that. Oh, it did nothing. Oh, we got a lot of co-pilots, a lot of co-pilots. We're just gonna circle, we're gonna circle. This guy is nothing. He is nothing. You are deceased. Oh, we have a lot of co-pilots now. I mean, we have a lot of power-ups right now. Oh, there we go. Let's just kill that guy. Pick up some more. Okay, we have a lot of rockets. Probably use some on this guy. Maybe do one of those. Pick up another bomb. Get a repair. Primary weapon damage increase. We're just gonna take that guy out easy peasy. I was a little bit worried, so I just fired one of those off. Honestly, I, I don't know that I needed to, but it felt like a kind of a situation where you just... All right, take that guy out. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it, let's just keep it loose. Just stay loose. Okay, okay, mines, that's fine. We got some incoming rockets, we're not worried about that. Let's pick up this. There was a mine there. There was a mine there. Ask me how I know. So that was uh, Solaroid's prologue. Honestly, fun game. Um, it is frustrating that it is so dark on the screen in space that they're not lying. That stuff blends right into the background. Missiles are very dark. Thankfully, you can kind of hear them. Mines also, they have little audio cues, but when you're trying to just fly through and pick up power-ups and stuff like that, it is very difficult to see something just in like the second or two that you have while you're, you know, careening through space at a thousand miles an hour. Overall, fun game. And if you had four people to play this, 100%, I would highly recommend that you, you might check this out, especially just for five bucks. It's a really decent price for what they're giving you. Let's continue. Now this uh, is from Shotgun with Glitters and it did come out on the 1st of March. It only has eight reviews. Damage buff, hell yeah, oh, okay. Oh, I think it said something about the sun is setting and I'm gonna assume that's bad. And assuming that that's bad, yeah, okay. The entire area is just being full of monsters now. So we are taking like a little tiny bit of damage. We're just gonna exit. We died. All right, so we spent. Yo, that's fucking not fair. I just zoned into the world and he hit me before I even spawned in and could 
figure out what was going on, I'm calling Bolonium on that one game. Oh, 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 call me, call me Shroud because I'm just so good at shooting things. Okay, we have a ton of shot. We can't lose. We can't possibly lose now. We have so much shotgun ammo. We're gonna see if we can't speed run through this because I would love to see an actual boss. I'm blaming the game though. Because if I don't blame the game, it means that I'm bad and no one likes that. Considerably reduces shot spread of we uh, of weapons and gives a slight homing to rockets. Decreases incoming melee damage by two. I don't know that I've been meleeed the entire time I've played this game. But the shot spread is useful for any and every gun that we could possibly use, so I'm okay with that. Okay, speed run time. We're just gonna get through this. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna avoid those guys. Oh yeah, the spread on this is like nothing now. Damage buff, we're going ham. Prepare to be gone ham on enemies. Oh, you guys stand no chance. You, we're just, we're gonna go ahead and just use every single one of those that we ever get because I, I don't know that I have any way to tell. Double slice. I'm not sure what the, what those bonuses do for you if they do anything at all, honestly. Uh, I'm real close to rank three, so let's just make sure we get rank three before we move on. That is so unfair. I I kind of hate that fog of war thing because it enables the enemies to get free shots on you when you're not... Oh, please. One thing that I've noticed is that the fog of war is annoying and you can lose almost your entire health bar in like one attack from an enemy. Because there is no period of like, oh, you got hit by one. Now you kind of have a little bit of invulnerability or anything. Shotguns get a slight damage buff. We'll check this out. I already have a shotgun. We've reduced the spread. Now let's up the damage and let's call us the, ourselves the shotgun king. I'm the shotgun king. Oh, damage buff. You guys have nothing. You will not survive. Oh, get, get dunked on. Absolutely dunked on. Okay, we got a key card. We need to keep moving though. We need to get, oh, we got a key card for this already. That's perfect. Oh no, you see? Oh, we just immediately died. We had like four HP and we just took it all in one hit. Oh no. Your mech was crushed. No, we got shot like nine times in the face. Okay, well, we're gonna wrap up there either way. Again, pretty unknown game. Only had about eight reviews or so. What do I think about it? Honestly, I think it's a neat idea, but the fog of war and the fact that enemies, there's no uh, damage refraction period, if if that makes sense. And I don't know that I care to just immediately be in, entirely wiped out instantly because you, know, you, you walked into the fog of war and a guy had already shot four blasts and you just walk into all four of them, you know? And so that's really my only, big negative about this. All in all, a decent game, but at a price tag of $15 right now, I can't recommend this game. If this went on sale at some point, it was $7, five to seven, I would say it would definitely be worth your time to pick up. But for now at 15, uh, I'm not so sure about it. Anyway, let's move on to our next game. So our next game, our next game in the series is called Keepa World, Hello Big Adventure. This came out just so you know on November 29th, 2018. Okay. Uh, apparently if you press space, which on planet Earth normally would be the jump button, it actually freezes your game. Don't press space. Can I? Okay, apparently I have to press up. This is, these controls are awful and I just wanna make that extremely apparent. Why? What the fuck? J is sprint? What? What are you? Oh my god, why? Okay, so by sprint, they actually mean like teleport forward and, and die, usually. That's fine. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna not touch. There's an eye staring at us. Two. Okay. So I'm glad to know that this is one of those games where we're just gonna die a bunch. That's great. Let's just... Oh, you can do it a couple of times. Okay, so just mash the sprint button and like... 
Okay, that doesn't that doesn't really entirely work, but can we just It's like Super Meat Boy without the fun of Super Meat Boy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I Okay, it seems like you have to press your jumps pretty close together to be able to get 3 of them. Okay. There should have been no reason why we didn't make that. Okay, where is it? Land here. Don't land there. Just come to my attention that I should not have landed there. Okay, we've made it to here. Why is his needle nose so long? Okay, next checkpoint done, easy. All right, what, what garbage is next? Let's just go. These are disappearing? Nah, nah, dude. We got the checkpoint, doesn't even matter. You cannot touch this. Okay, well that guy can touch this. Why? You need to put checkpoints closer. Oh, that guy's gonna bend down and do it. This might be where we actually stop playing because there's no checkpoint in sight and I'm not necessarily having like a, a great time. So one of the problems with this game that I can just tell you right away is that everything is black. It makes it really hard to see what is going on when everything is black. I understand that you want a really dark like game world and stuff, but it might be nice to have some color so you can actually make, you know, critical thinking decisions. Are those? Okay. Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, what in the hell are you supposed to do? Just shoot straight up? I have no idea. Okay, that's fun. That's a that's a great game, honestly. I really I really love that one. That's that's a top notch. I had a great time. Um, it should be no surprise that my thought on this game is that you should not play it ever. <sighs> Let's get into why. And by the way. Today's tea is brought to you by English Breakfast, in case, you know, you're a fan. So the problem with this game is I understand what they're going for. You, you know, Super Meat Boy is a very popular game. And games where you just do this thing, where you try to get through them, you know, as quickly as possible and whatnot, uh, while not dying and restarting very quickly, you know, that's been done before. Problem is that First off, everything in this is dark and black, so it's hard to see anything, which is annoying. The controls are terrible. I couldn't rebind them. Um, and it's just not compelling. So, unfortunately, this one's gonna be a pass for me, but we don't know that until we play them, right? So, I'm glad that we hit these three games up. Anyway, but that's it for us. So, this has been your Lost on Steam episode two. Hopefully, you found something. Maybe, you know, maybe you found one of these games that's just, that's your jam, and you're gonna go check it out. Anyway, until next time, though... Burn bright, everybody.